Hey, hi everyone, welcome back. This is Saurabh and uh, this is the next video in our video tutorial Java for testers. And in this, we are gonna learn about loops. So basically what is loop? As name indicate, loop is something which executes again and again, you know? So basically we use loops in Java whenever we want to execute a piece of code again and again, you know, for a multiple iterations. So why, why we need loop? So let's consider a simple example in front of you whenever you want to listen some music whenever you are listening to some of your favorite song sometimes you may feel that you know you want to continue listening the same song again and again right so what you do is in your player you mark that particular song to be uh, played in a repetitive mode right so it 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 keeps on looping the same same song again and again for you in a similar way whenever we are executing a code or whenever we are executing a program there are some there are some conditions where you need to execute the same piece of code again and again and to do that we use loops that's where the loops are required so to execute some code line again and again okay now basically when to start executing that particular loop you know how many times to loop is like two times three times four times or you know n number of time without an end and then when to actually stop so all these questions you know when to start how many times and then when to stop all these questions needs to be answered whenever you are writing a loop so in java we have only three loops which we need to learn the first is while loop the next is do while loop and the third and very important is for loop okay so we're gonna learn these three loops and all those questions in the previous slide is like you know how many times to execute a particular piece of code on what condition i should start and what condition i should stop so this can this these questions we need to answer while designing a loop so that that those all things we're gonna learn in our loop sessions and then comes the advanced loops so basically the nested loops you know so you can write a while loop inside that you can write a for loop you can write a for loop inside that you can write a while loop and so on so use you can you know mix and match if you remember if you go some some sessions back we studied a nested if else nested if <coughs> and so on right excuse me similarly in loops also we can do a nesting so we will we will learn about them later on so very first thing understand and remember from its meaning what i'm saying is so there are different loops which one to use and in what scenario to use right it's very confusing sometimes especially when you are starting to work with the loops for the first time or you know we are very new to the loops so let's consider while loop so let's concentrate only on its English meaning while loop. So whenever you talk to someone else, let's say and you say, uh, I'm gonna eat all the food while it lasts, right? Just I'm saying uh, a random example. If, if there is something in your plate, you will say, I'm gonna eat everything uh, while, you know, while, while it lasts or, you know, while, while the food is over. So in the same way, in the while loop, so while loop basically you need to make sure you have a particular condition in your loop unless that condition is satisfied the loop is gonna continue the loop is gonna keep on executing the same piece of code again and again till that condition meets okay similarly a do while loop now there is only one word added in front of while which is do while so what 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 difference the do while loop and while loop has is so while loop basically first executes a piece of code and then it checks a condition in order to decide whether it should run next time or not whereas in do while the things are a bit different it first do and then while so it first executes the code and then it checks for a condition okay and while loop it will check the condition and then it will execute that's the difference so to to broadly tell you a difference do while loop 
will always execute at least once even if the condition is false so it will execute the particular piece of code and then it will check for a condition if the condition is false it's not gonna continue the next iteration but at least it has executed once whereas in a while loop if the condition itself is false it will not even execute that particular statement at least once even even once because the condition is checked first and then it starts execution right <clears throat> while supply last something like that the last is for loop so again there is a separate syntax for for loop and we will learn about it uh, my my favorite is for loop because we we use a lot of time in our automation scripts for the for loops okay so when to use which loop this slide will make more sense once we go through all the loops and do the practice but i'll just walk you through that you know how to decide and you know when to use which loop so starting with a for loop so basically the for loop iterates a particular program several times if the number of iteration is fixed what i mean to say is you know that i want to run this program 100 times like you know i want to listen this song in a repeat mode for 10 times so when you know the iterations how many times you want to iterate or you, then you should be using a for loop right it is recommended when you know the number of iterations and then you should use a for loop while loop in a java while loop is used to iterate a part of program several times if the number of iteration is not fixed it is recommended to use while loop like i said when you don't know how many times i should be executing in that scenario you need to implement or you need to use the while loop the do while loop do while loop is exactly same as while loop the only difference is at when you want your code to be executed at least once in that scenario you should use do while loop okay so you may you may get confused little bit between while and do while as of now but uh, believe me it's pretty easy we're going to do a lot of practicals on this and your your doubts will be <coughs> logs will be clear okay so keep on watching all the videos and the next session will be on the while loop so see you in the next video bye